channel if you're new here my name is Seppi and today I'm joined by my wonderful mom and my wonderful daughter <laughs> this is my mom Marzia she has her own YouTube channel Music Gare de Mar. yes <laughs> um, and per the theme of her channel which is cooking today she's gonna teach me her Persian daughter a very important lesson yeah as you can guess by the title of this video she's gonna teach me how to cook rice <laughs> because rice is main things like potato yeah. with English food yeah that's why uh, first she has to learn basic one and up there slow slow she can watch my uh, YouTube <laughs> channel so a lot of you guys actually have requested that my mom teach me how to cook because you guys know that I can cook like pasta and other stuff but I don't know how to cook anything she's Iranian. perfect she's perfect for those um, think she like it and uh, I have to learn from her because she's making very quick very nice and you have to cook one day for my channel because I will love, because a lot of people they love those things you cook they want something different if and you are very fast and <laughs> very nice and most important is very delicious <laughs> eating your fingers <laughs> if this video gets 1,000 likes then I will come onto your channel and we'll film a part two. Oh, definitely <laughs> it's getting 10,000 likes <laughs> so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos before we get into today's cooking session and chatting I just want to announce that my sister Dr. Sol and I have launched Dr. S Aesthetics at 1A Harley Street it is a medical aesthetics clinic we are so proud to launch it we have a range of treatments from anti-wrinkle treatment to PRP to dermal fillers and many many more please check out the Instagram send us any questions you have via direct message on the page or the text button on the page we're so happy it was so over the moon we've had so much support from you so far so we're very very grateful and we thank you in advance thank you <laughs> let's get into today's video so this is the rice that we are using today a lot of people always ask my mom what rice she uses and this is the secret guys it is Cameron. Cameron is her secret. No, because everybody they asking, they keep asking what's the uh, name of your rice and I have to write it down all the time. That's why I'm showing because it's too much for me. I write for everybody. So, do you guys think that every Iranian girl should know how to make rice? I think you do have to know how to make rice for Persian, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> do you think it's more important for me or like my future husband I think should know how to make the rice but uh, first I have to find your husband and I see <laughs> is he interesting for cooking or not <laughs> Daddy, but uh, if he loves me things I knew she don't <laughs> no, no, no. no say it no, no. say it no just I want to say which kind of husband you wanted no, no, oh no, what no, do I not no, want to no, say no, 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 no. I, my future husband's gonna be trustworthy, loyal, respectful, hardworking, and loves my family. And me. That's it. That's all I want. So uh, I'm gonna pour the rice now. How does this work? Where did you get this from? It's uh, from Iranian rice cooker. Okay. It's inside of Iranian rice cooker. Okay. And then how much? Like it says 200 mils. Yes. So it's a 200 mil cup, and then each cup is for one person. Yes. Okay. And, and you can say uh, one pack of six kilo is for uh, sorry. And you can say one pack of one kilo is for six people. Okay. I think this is easier. So this is one cup. Yeah. Okay. So that's three things of rice. I'm not gonna lie. So far, this actually hasn't been hard, which makes me feel embarrassed that I've never done this before. <laughs> Maybe, um, no, because I was busy with uh, your <laughs> this is my mom's excuse for everything. Whenever I'm like, Oh, I should have done this before, she's like, Yeah, but you know, you're so hard working. <laughs> Look at her, she's so hard working, honestly. <laughs> she's working hard and uh, she's busy with all the time. Well, she's busy. now, I'm gonna be Zana Zendegi. Hashtag Zana Zendegi. <laughs> for those of you guys who aren't Iranian, Zana Zendegi means like wifey material, it means uh. The wife for life, Zana Zendegi. So that's me, guys, with my three. I'm literally all I've done is put three cups of rice in the thing, and I'm already ready to to get married. Okay, what's next? You have to wash this four times to change the water. Why do I need to do this? Because all the um, because all the dirty things that come out. You know, it's because rice is uh, vegetable. You have to wash it. 
And look, until water is come clear, because this water is not clear. To be fair, the water does look really murky. But you have many wash it, be careful you don't lose the rice. Not suddenly, because all the rice is going. Okay, I will do it suddenly. I'm not sure I let me do anything. Just a control freak. Oh, you're, you're doing an excellent job, Mum. Thank you. Did I plan Spanish? Okay, it just didn't face to you. I said probably it's time for me to marry. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. On the water, your rice is not coming good. You have to use a bottle of water. If your rice is not coming good, it's because of water. You have to use the bottle. Okay, then give me a bottle of water. Okay. Secrets from a pro. Yes. One, two. Doesn't matter where you put it. You know the rice smells. Three. So this is how much water we have woo, woo, woo. And if you couldn't uh, measure it, you can do this Wait, what were you saying? Okay, and if you couldn't uh, measure it You have to put you have to put water until Oh, like until like one line of like your finger is above the water Exactly, you have to put your finger there Water should be come to in here So the, top rice, the rice, so, the, so, the, so on top of the rice you should have that much water is, yes. is if you can't measure with cups. What's the heat? Use this one. Oh. So that's the heat. That's the heat I showed to you. So I think we're done, but obviously I forgot salt because she's got salt in on the side. Yes. So how much salt do you put? You have to put half a this a spoon. This is big. Teaspoon. Like yes. a it's like between a teaspoon, it's like a dessert spoon, really. Yeah. So half a dessert spoon of salt. So it's basically one teaspoon of salt. But how like is that proportionate? So how are you paying on a chat? Uh, as to be honest, um, salt is depends how much salt do you like it. It depends on your I like to eyeball salt. So like when I cook, I always like look with my eyes and I try and cover like all of it with like one grain in my brain. And have a look at this. We add Salt. So butter next? Yes. Next is butter. How much? Is one spoon. I bought it, but basically a, another like large teaspoon, maybe like a thin tablespoon. Yes. And then mix it in. No, because it, no, when it's oh, getting hot, it no, I don't need you mix it. Are you trying to tell me that this all these years, this was all you had to do to make rice? Yes, only this. Yeah, you have. Uh, after you can mix it, yes. If once you have to mix it, but anyway. Okay, and then okay. let's and put then the lid on together. Put the lid on <laughs> Teamwork yes. is the dream work. And if you want your rice to come very good, you can put a few drops of uh, lemon juice. And then do I squeeze like? Yes, enough. And then how long do we leave that to cook for? You have to wait until uh, water is getting uh, dry and after you put temperature, this temperature should be like this until water is getting dry. So right now we are on a high heat as yes. you guys can see. Yes. Um, so when the water dries out we then put it on a low, low heat. Very low, yes. For how long? Uh, for between 20 to 30 minutes. So long. That's why it's I so don't long? make rice. Okay. I can okay, make okay. a full pasta dish in like 40 no, minutes. No, don't worry. Now you can put it. Um, uh, I think 15 minutes is enough. With <laughs> a little bit. You don't need to bit, cut corners. With a little bit uh, higher. By the way, guys, when you yeah, cook, but... don't make the same mistake as me and have your hair down because I keep playing with it. But I need it to stay straight, so I've got other stuff I need to take pictures of, so that's not the thing up. Anyway, whilst we wait for this to cook, my mum and I are going to do a little bit of q and I'm going to ask her some questions about life. Any Iranians out there, you know what that was. It was the s fan. We have to do the s fan. We don't actually tend to do it at night time, but technically it's only like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so that's why we're doing it. Okay, mum, come, because I have some questions for you. So a while back, I asked you guys to send me some questions on my Instagram for my parents. So I'm just gonna ask you them, mum. You have to answer them quick fire, okay? How do you deal with strict traditional Persian parents? Um, I think they should a little bit calm down and look after children. Okay, so what can the children do to the like say to their parents so their parents are less strict? And um, they shouldn't be very strict. 
But what can the kids do? They can't be like, hey, mom, dad, stop being strict. What would you say is a good way to tell your parents to stop being strict? Uh, yes, you have to explain we don't say lie to you and you have to trust me. And when you trust us, everything you come and uh, say to you is straight away. But uh, if uh, you are very uh, strict, I have to say lie. Yeah, that's so true. So if you want to build a relationship with trust and respect for each other, then it needs to be a two-way street. Your parents need to show trust for you, you need to show trust back. I like that, Mom. Well done. Next one. Someone said, should I visit Iran? Oh yes, definitely. Iran is a beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful country. Okay, another one, another person said, how can I make money at a young age? I think if She you... made me swap sides with her. <laughs> Go on. Okay, I think if you think about the money, and if you think how you make your money, this means you are very clever, and you have that uh, intelligent mind, and you go and found yourself. Okay, but like, what are you saying? Like, be like an entrepreneur or what? Because I remember when I was really young, I always used to tell my mom, oh my god, mom, as soon as I turn 16, I want to go work in like top shop or this yeah. and that. I still yes, I said shop. You, yes, I said it's good you go to uh, work everywhere and you have experience. Mm -hmm. But this is not because when you work hard, because you worked in um, a Fen department store, yeah, Phoenix. Yes, in Phoenix. And after you found out, oh my God, I have to stand in my feet for a few hours, long day. And that is very, very, very hard job. And on that time, you think about how you can do something to find you make money easier. Mm, true, very true. Okay, so someone said, is everything going to be okay in life? Life is, life has an up and down. And if you think negative, a small... Um, like a small hurdle. Yes, a small hurdle for you is no, this, that's it, you give up. Yeah. But if your mind is positive, that you can understand that it's just a small thing and you, have, you can pass from that and you can reach in your goal. Exactly. I love this energy, guys. This is the energy we need. Thank you. Okay. Someone said, this I'm is true. <laughs> Someone said, I'm Pakistani and my boyfriend is Iranian. I'm scared about the culture clash if we get married because my boyfriend's family is very modern Iran is very modern Iranian. Uh, okay, you have to think now if you are that kind of people and if you're because your husband is modern family and when they go, they have a party, of course they want to go speak with other ladies they have to shake their hand because that is very normal for them but if you think you couldn't uh, accept and it's very difficult for you I think don't go to mm -hmm. because that's for them is normal that's why you say in Iran kabutar ba kabutar baz ba baz konad ham jens ba ham jens par baz yeah and so that saying is birds of the feather flock together so um, you're more likely to uh, fly with your own kind, like succeed with your own kind. Not kind, not being um, the country that you're from, but the mentality that you're from. If you're traditional and you're with someone who's modern, you're not really gonna merge well together. Whereas if you're traditional and you're with someone traditional, or you're modern with someone modern, regardless of country or background, ethnicity, that's what matters. So yeah, yeah but you wouldn't change him because yeah. in the mentality, end, yeah. it's gonna be different. In the end, you're hurting. You have to accept it. You want or you don't want. Someone said, how can I make the first move on a guy without looking too desperate? I think you have to show. But how? How without looking like, oh my God, I'm so desperate. No, just at least don't look very angry or like that, you know? <laughs> your body language. I'll be approachable. Show. Yes, you can show with your body language. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Go on, like a little thing. I don't know. Little, this is how you got your husband, yeah? No, I didn't saw my husband. Then uh, I was just speaking with him on the phone. <laughs> okay, so I think, yeah, that if you want to make the first move without seeing too desperate, you need to like just open the way for them to make the first move. So like you can reach out to them like for any excuse, like oh my god. Um, I saw someone walk past me and I thought it was you or um, did you just drive past me or I was just thinking about that thing we did that year and telling someone the story and I thought of you how have you been or like just like be more chatty and like a bit flirty but like once you flirt like come back to your normal self 
because if they like you they'll flirt back and then you'll know and if you go back to your normal self then they'll be like oh, okay so like uh, it's no awkwardness if they don't fancy you. depends on situation you don't know some people they don't like uh, the way you act you probably it's, it depends the situation of the guy mm -hmm. okay how do you tell your mum and dad that you have a boyfriend who there's someone just someone's oh. eye. <laughs> look at my reaction don't worry. No, I knew. <laughs> That's so sad, Mum. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Why is that? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's sad. You're like, you're like oh, I know you don't have a boyfriend. No, no. Okay, what is. Um, How do you tell your mum and dad you have a boyfriend? Um, I think you have to say your mum. You must be very honest with your mother. Mm, what if you're a boy? Is it different if you're a boy? Mm, uh, the boys, I think you, they say to you that. Yeah? Yeah. But you have to tell your mom that you, you have to tell your mom as well. Yeah. But for boy, mom is a little bit sensitive. First you have to say to your dad and after see what your dad decided. Because I knew um, some people and uh, they is for some reason they speak with me and I said you have to tell your dad and after uh, that is best is best guideline. Someone said how do I build inner confidence? You have to contact with your um, people around you, not contact for uh, for everything. Don't try for anything. It's just oh, like home. reach out. You mean like reach out to people? Yes, and you have to. But what's that got to do with confidence? Yes, when you, uh, for example, if you have a guest and I say, Seppi, can you please? come and do this for me or can you please set the table you say no i shy no i don't want it this is the first step you have to start from your home um, come front of people everybody is the same as you don't shy don't scare scare from anything what about like to set up uh, an instagram or a youtube people are saying how do you have the confidence for that if you want to uh, have a um, if you want for YouTube or Instagram, you must be your own. Yeah. If you act one day, two days, three days, in the end they found you what? Yeah. Are. But what about the confidence to start it? How? What would you say to someone? Who... Don't, don't shy, don't scare. If you look for you be complete, never happen. Yeah. You have to start. Yeah, you're you never are. ever gonna. So I agree with that. that yes. So I think you have to be yourself. I think there's never gonna be a perfect time. Like you're not, you're always gonna be waiting. Like, oh, wait for my this to come. Wait for me to save up for this camera. Wait for me to do this. Wait for me to do that. I think you have to. Aim. I'm waiting for a nice camera. My yeah. camera doesn't show very well. Yeah. I haven't got light. I yeah. haven't got this. Okay. I tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Yeah. Never. Happen. Yeah. I think you should just start if you want to do it. And I think confidence for stuff like this, which is what we want about, is not caring what other people think. Um, and that's honestly an art that you have to master and once you master it all those people who you cared about what they thought will come to you and ask you how you did it and in other things you think okay if I do this channel a lot of people they have this channel nobody come and watch me yeah never don't think like yeah that. try to find what is the point instead of you say hello to everybody for example i want to say hello sepi day i have to say in my mind always what i have new to uh, give it to people mm -hmm. and people they choose me what i must to do people they choose me they don't choose other person. youtubers last question is farsi to an iranian mom how important is education oh iranian mom they are really, really care about education because it's not uh, because you be a doctor or they say, yes, I have uh, my children, they are doctors. No, it's not because of that, because of the mind. When you, have, uh, when you are educated, people, they couldn't use you. You understand for everything. You can search for everything. You can, you know. It's independent. Yes. And it's very important, people, they couldn't use you because you know... Let me tell you, the most expensive thing you will ever own is your knowledge. Yes. If you went to university, for example, on something that you're very, very passionate about and you spent 20 hours a week on a course and three years on that course and countless hours, the reason why that 
mean something is not because, oh, I have a degree. It's to show your dedication and the level of knowledge you have. All those courseworks you spent hours sitting down on writing, all those exams you took, it's all time that you dedicated and it's all your knowledge and people will acknowledge and reflect that. Because when you have a knowledge, anywhere in the world you go, they couldn't take, they can't take you your money, they can't take your jewelry, they can't take your car, they can't take your house, they couldn't take your knowledge. Always your knowledge is with you. Exactly. Okay, we're gonna get back to our rice now and I hope that you guys enjoyed that little Q&A sesh. I have to take this, bring it in here close to your plate. That's perfect. You have to take this. Can I show how lovely is this rice? Look, how dun dun. Dun dun means like each rice like piece by piece. Very long. This is the amazing rice that I've made. Woo woo. Wow. Okay, so let's try Can you our show rice. How lovely is this rice? So let's try the rice. Be careful, it's very hot. Mmm. This tastes like something my mom would make. This rice you can eat without any stew. This is very delicious. It's so nice. Guys, I like rice like with soy sauce sometimes and butter. So if you guys just want an easy rice dish, literally just plain rice, this is it. This is 15 minutes after the yeah, water so, is gone the rice. So after the water dried out, we left it on a medium heat for 15 minutes. But you can leave it on a low heat for 30 minutes if you prefer. It's already all ready to do with your preference and how long your cooking time is. Yes. And if you put more butter, it's come very nicer. Yeah. And softer. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to my mom. Thank you for teaching Thank me you to so cook. Much. Thanks oh for coming on my channel. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out already, make sure you watch Music ADMR. All of the videos there are in Farsi, but they're all cooking tutorials, so you can follow visually as well. Um, if you're not Farsi speaking, uh, don't forget to check out our socials. They're always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My mum's Instagram is Music ADMR, and the new Aesthetic Clinic Instagram is Doctor S Aesthetics. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.